Hi everybody, I'm back! And now what I'm going to show you is my books in a series that I need to finish. Presumably, hopefully by the end of summer because I've had them for a while and there are other series I would like to start but I have to be just conscious that I need to get these taken care of. I know that's a mean way to say I just want to finish your book to get out of the way because that's not it. I want to see how these books end. So, let's get started. Alright, the first one I have, and I've read the first book, but there are at least, what, six or seven in this series? So I gotta get hopping on these eventually. <laughs> I honestly think the last time I read this one, it probably would have been sometime last summer. So, and I'm one of those people that will go out and blind buy an entire series even before reading the first book. In fact, I've done that recently. The Nightshade series. I started this last summer and I've only read the first book. And there are, let's see, three as of now. I heard that there's going to be a fourth one in the series. There's also a spin-off series, just like Vampire Diaries, the Bloodlines uh, series as well. So, yes, there are two series that I need to jump on. I mean, I liked Nightshade, don't get me wrong. It was good. It wasn't great. It was good. Vampire Diaries, the f or not Diaries, I'm sorry, the Vampire Academy. If I said Vampire Diaries, I sincerely apologize to the author. But also with that one, I read the book, there's a lot of world building, which with all f books, first books in a series, that's mostly what the books are. Setting up the plot, the characters, all of that stuff. And I thought that that was an interesting series. There are bits and parts where it dragged, but... You know, that's... I don't know. I'm going to get to them, I promise. So, with that in mind, let's move on to the next book. Dearly Beloved. I loved Dearly Departed. I think that was my first zombie novel, right before Warm Bodies. Or was Warm Bodies before? I can't remember. But I have hopped on the zombie train. I love The Walking Dead. So I am interested to see how Dearly Beloved is going to turn out. Because I believe, I think it's only a two book series. So that'll be interesting because I really, I fell in love with Bram. I think he was very attractive for a zombie, for a dead guy. So I'm interested to see how this series will conclude. Now this one, I know all you PGO Percy Jackson fans... Heroes of Olympus, The Mark of Athena. I've heard so many good things. I shortly ago, probably less than a month ago, finished The Sun of Neptune. Now these are big, big books. They're well over 500 and some pages. Before, I would have just powered through a, a big book all on its own. Like with the Clockwork Prince, Clockwork Angel, Infernal Devices series. Now I've let myself say, hey... You're going to read a big, big book like that? That's great. Read something smaller while you're reading it. Otherwise, it's going to feel like it'll drag on forever. Which the word parts that Son of Neptune did a little. But I love learning about the new characters. And I'm so anxious to see what is going to happen when Percy and Annabeth meet each other again after being separated for so long. I'm so excited. And I already pre-ordered House of Hades. I love the new cover. It's so cool looking. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Next one. Shades of Earth, the Across the Universe, final book. I started it and then I kind of put it away for a bit. But I do want to finish it this summer. So I want to hear what happens to Amy and an Elder. So... And somebody did kind of give a little spoiler about something. It wasn't fully intentional, but it kind of gave away a partial ending. Is into recommending something else. Like, oh. Okay, but it didn't ruin it completely. So it's just, it'll be interesting to see how it ends. 
this book. I am extremely, extremely hesitant to finish this series because Crossed was when, honestly, if I had to do, of all the second books in the series, of one that I did not really care for, Crossed would be the winner, hands down. Dragged like sludging your, your feet through frickin' mud. Dragging your feet through mud. That's how it felt. And I kept surging on. It felt like the frickin' journey to Middle Earth, for Christ's sake. And not in a good way. It, just, it dragged on too damn much. So that is why I'm very hesitant and I've been choosing other books over this to finish over this one. This dang book better be good or I'm going to be P.O.'d. Not happy. I mean, the first book was excellent. And, and I think that's a curse with the second books. They never seem to add up to the first one. Which, I mean, I kind of felt that way with... Fever of the Chemical Garden series was, it was good. And then you also had Pandemonium, which was good, but it wasn't nearly as good. The back and forth, back and forth between then and, and now did get kind of old. But I'm going off on a whole nother tangent here. This will probably be the last in a series that I will read when I read all the other ones. Alright, we are done here. These are my thoughts. Leave your comments below if you disagree with me or agree with me or just what have you. <laughs> All right.